myself prayag patel working as assistant professor in itict department of lg institute of engineering and technology now in today's video lecture we discuss the making change problem in our previous video lecture we discussed step number 1 and step number 2 of making change problem in step number 1 we define the formula of making change problem in step number 2 we recursively find the value of all the sub problem means consider all the location in our table for example our table size is c of 3 8 so here three number of row and eight number of column so we find the value of all the element in our table now next thing is we already find value of c of 3 8 equal to 2 means total number of coin required equal to 2 but our question is how to find which coins are needed means we find the two coin but which coin ones two one four or six which coin is selected is our main question so for find the which coin are needed we consider the i equal to n means we start the our last location initial location consider as our last location c of 3 8 so consider value of i equal to n n means number of elements so total number of element in our example is 3 because total number of coin equal to 1 4 and 6 three type of coin so consider n equal to 3 now what is the value of j j means pay to amount means we consider our in our example pay for 8 or change for 8 so consider j equal to 8 okay now formulas for find the coin which coin is selected we consider two formula first one is if c of ij equal to c of i minus 1j then no coins is selected move up to c of i minus 1j means in first formula we consider last block as a c of ij and compare this block c of ij with upper block c of i minus 1 j block means consider as a upper block so compare the last block with upper block and if this two element or this two block consider as a same value then no coin is selected and move up to c i minus 1 j means upper block is selected now second formula is if c of ij equal to 1 plus c i j minus d i then we select the one coin of i element and move left to c i j minus d i means we consider or we check value of c of i j with c of i j minus d i plus 1 okay and compare this two component if both component are equal then we select the this element i th element means consider as a lower part as a i th element and move left side from c of i j to c of i j minus d i means we decrement only j not i j decremented by d i means j minus d i now consider our example in our example we already find the all the value of table c c of 1 0 1 1 1 2 up to 1 8 c 2 1 2 0 2 2 8 c 3 0 2 3 8 in this table we will get the final answer equal to 2 means here 2 consider as a total number of coin required we already find as a 2 as a total number of coin so find the value of number of coin which type of coin is required so here consider value of i equal to 3 and value of j equal to 8 because we start from last location this step consider as a step number 3 of making change problem in step number 3 compute the value of an optimal solution typically in bottom of fraction means in this table we consider the last location and from last location we move upward means this for statement or this step consider as a bottom of fraction so here consider last location 2 and we move upward now consider this statement location last location consider as a 3 8 compare this last location with the upper location because here our equation is 
c of ij equal to c of i minus 1j okay now c of ij means c of 3 8 consider as a c of ij so i equal to 3 and j equal to 8 now compare this location with upper location c of i minus 1j means consider as a upper row, row and sample so here compare location c of 3 8 with location c of 2 8 okay now these two component or these two value is same or not we will check so here c of 3 8 equal to 2 and c of 2 8, 2 8 equal to also 2 so consider this equation or this condition is satisfied yes now how what we can do for this formula in this formula we consider if c of i j equal to c of i minus 1 j then no point is selected move up to c 2 8 because c i minus 1 j so here i minus 1 j means 3 minus 1 consider as a 2 so move up to c of 2 8 okay now next step is move up to c of 2 8 now consider location c of 2 8 okay next what is the value of i i equal to 2 j equal to 8 okay now formula is c of i j equal to c of i minus 1 j then no coin is selected move up to c i minus 1 j so here in this case first we check formula number 1 is satisfied or not here consider c of i j here i equal to 2 so consider c of 2 8 equal to c of 1 8 here c of 2 8 consider as a value 2 and c of 1 8 consider as a value 8 so here 2 and 8 is not equal so condition is not satisfied then we will apply the second equation or second condition for backtracking so here consider second formula second formula is if c of ij equal to 1 plus c ij minus t then we select one coin of ith element and move left to c i j minus t i now here consider location is c of 2 8 as our desired location so i equal to 2 j equal to 8 then check c of 2 8 equal to c of 2 8 means c of i j equal to 1 plus c i j minus t i means here consider value of i equal to 2 and j equal to 8 then c of 2 8 equal to 1 plus c 2 8 minus 4 here consider d i i means 2 so here consider d 2 and what is the value of d2 d2 equal to 4 so here d2 equal to 4 then we will get value of c of 2 8 equal to 1 plus c 2 4 now what is the value of c of 2 4 here consider the our table in, in table c of 2 4 equal to value row number consider row number 2 and column number 4 means consider value as a 1 so here put the value 1 so final answer of c of 2 8 equal to 1 plus 1 equal to 2 means we will match the two components c of 2 8 and 1 plus c 2 8 minus 4 means c of 2 4 so both the value is equal so here c of 2 8 equal to 2 and our 1 plus c 2 j minus d i equal to 2 so here formula number 2 is applied because if condition 1 is not satisfied then condition 2 is satisfied because we find this value according to this formula so here according to second condition we select the one coin of 2 and move left to c 2 4 because in our equation select the ith element and move left to c i j minus d i so here j means 8 and d i means d 2 and d 2 equal to 4 so here consider move to left side c of 2 4 so consider same row row number 2 as it is but column decremented from 8 to 4 okay now here move at location c of 2 4 our desired location is c of 2 4 now consider value of location 2 4 equal to 1 now next step is we select the one coin of 2 because we satisfy the second condition and if second condition is satisfied then select the one coin of ith element here i equal to 2 so select the one coin of i equal to 2 means select the one coin of 4 d2 equal to 4 so select one coin of 4 now next step is we already select the one coin of 4 now next we consider the 
डिजायर लोकेशन सी ऑफ आई जे हियर सी ऑफ आई जे मीन्स सी ऑफ टू फोर सो आई इक्वल टू टू एंड जे इक्वल टू फोर नाउ चेक अवर कंडीशन फॉर दिस our condition is first condition is c of i j equal to c of i minus 1 j then no point is selected and move up to c i minus 1 j here check or compare c of i j with c of i minus 1 j now consider c of i j means c of 2 4 c of i minus 1 j means c of 1 4 now this two element is equal here value of c of 2 4 equal to 1 and value of c of 1 4 equal to 4 means both value are different so condition for is not applicable now we apply the second condition condition number 2 if c of ij equal to 1 plus c ij minus di so here check this formula here consider location i equal to 2 j equal to 4 then c of 2 4 equal to 1 plus c 2 4 minus 4 because our equation is c of ij minus di so here consider value of c of 2 4 minus 4 means c of 2 0 so what is the value of c of 2 0 c of 2 0 consider as a 0 in our table so put the value of c of 2 0 and we will get the final answer equal to 1 okay now what is the value of c of 4 c of 2 4 c of 2 4 equal to 1 and c of i j minus di plus 1 equal to also 1 so both is satisfy condition is satisfy then if second condition is satisfy then we select one coin of ith element means we consider i equal to 2 so we select the one coin of 2 and move left to c of 2 0 so here consider select the second coin of 2 because already we select the one coin of i equal to 2 means d2 equal to 4 already selected we second time select d2 equal to 4 okay and we will get the two coin of 4 now c of i j minus di means here consider location c of 2 0 okay now if we will get the last location c of 2 0 then no need to perform any operation because in our previous step we consider last location c of 3 8 equal to 2 and we already select the two coin first we select d2 equal to 4 first time and second time we select d2 equal to 4 so next step is step number 4 construct an optimal solution from the computed information in our previous step step number 3 we compute some information which coin is selected which coin is not selected like this and according to this we perform the step number 4 in step number 4 construct an optimal solution from the computed information so selected coin are consider first coin is for and second coin is also for so here consider there are two coin first coin is for and second coin is for means we consider total number of coin equal to 1 plus 1 so total coin equal to 1 plus 1 equal to 2 we already consider in our uh, previous table See. final block or c of 3 8 block consider as a 2 and here we find the total number of coin equal to 2 so our goal is find how many coin is required and second one is which coin is selected so how many coin means consider as a 2 coin and which coin is selected here consider as a 4 and 4 means consider two coin of 4 is selected okay now thank you for watching this video Thank you.